Scientists make first human monkey embryos. Ignite debate over hybrid animals. What are the key concerns raised? What did the researchers do? Researchers at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies, US created a human monkey chimera, an organism that is part monkey and part human, by integrating human cells into the embryos of mecook monkeys. The embryos were kept alive and growing outside the body for 19 days. The brain behind this experiment. The scientists at the institute were led by Professor Juan Carlos Espejo Belmonte, who, in 2017, helped make the first human-pig hybrid also. These chimeric approaches could be really very useful for advancing biomedical research not just at the very earliest stage of life, but also the latest stage of life, says Professor Carlos. The purpose of the experiment. Researchers believe this research work could give advanced understanding of early human development help understand onset of disease and progression and aging, address the critical need of organs for transplantation, help in drug evaluation some other hybrid animals. Probably a result of unintentional crossbreeding between animals of different species, some rare hybrid animals exist naturally. Like, in 2014, a hybrid between sheep and goat called Jeep was born in Ireland. Mules, a hybrid between female horse and male donkey, are the result of intentional breeding by humans, which they first undertook in ancient times. What are the ethical concerns? What if someone creates a whole organism with this? Scientists argue that while the embryos, in this case, were destroyed after 19 days, others could try to take the work further. How should we treat other life forms? Scientists raised concern over chimera research having the potential to worsen injustice against animals and also pointed out the fairness in using part human animals to meet human needs. Will the embryo be treated as human or non-human? Other researchers mentioned that whether these embryos are human or not is open to question. What looks like a non-human animal may mentally be close to a human, they speculate. Sarah Nockross director of the Progress Educational Trust, says, there is a clear need for public discussion and debate about the ethical and regulatory challenges raised.